afternoon my friends how are you so i'm just toning down the the whitewash a bit you see here how that's really bright and now it's starting to tone down so i haven't done the turret so i've only done the body so far so yeah just very very uh light brown very light brown oil wash going over the whole thing so i'm just keeping an eye on that at the moment make sure there's no bleed out or anything like that and then i'll do the, the turret um so yeah that's that's starting to look good you see uh that's really bright and now that sort of that just tones down I'll, I'll do a few more and and we'll get the tone and it also adds a bit of a little bit of brown so we'll start to get the the dirt sort of look build up and yeah it's just starting to do that i've been not working on this uh here i haven't sanded that up yet so there's still super glue everywhere i went a bit crazy with the super glue on that last one it was really late at night and i had a bit of an accident with the bottle but yeah got them on um so i've been using my new um photo etch bender i'll show you that it's really good so you see we've got these oops sorry got these bends here and they're really nice bends um so you're gonna need a photo etch bender if you get this men kit but you see those bends there yeah they're pretty big bends um so i really like this mesh here it's really fine it's coming along pretty good i like it um didn't like this so i noticed there was a consequence where was that too it's not fitting in right oh there it is see that this was all bulged out so i managed to um underneath the other side was fine but this side was all bulged out so i'm gonna have trouble getting that photo etch on that side i might have to try and push that in a bit more because i think you can sort of see the bulge i'm not sure can you see it i can see it yeah you can see it yeah so i have to fix that up but i'll show you this photo etch bender i got it's a really good one uh so Ming have done it, but I, I'm pretty sure it is a Reebok from these guys' ones, Des Despay or something. Um, it's exactly the same as that one, but it's better. So, in it you get this cool little, this thing here, and you get that plate. I'm going to try that plate because I've been using the stainless steel one, and the stainless steel one's really slippery, so this one looks like it's got a bit more grip on it. So I might put that on now, but I'll show you first. So this is it here. And I put the uh, non-stick on the back so I can just chuck it on my um, chopping board and it just holds so you can really move it up and it doesn't move anywhere. It's good. So that, that, that's good. So I, this originally came, you take these off. Put, leave that in there. You don't want that coming out, the washer. Yeah, in there. Came out again. Bastard thing. Yeah, so you unscrew these. And it's got springs on it. So um, it's, it's really cool. So you can have this either way. Now I had it, it comes in the box this way, like this, but I turned it around because I'm doing, because you could do straight bends easier with this side. So you can just turn it around and do all kinds of cool things with it. Um, that keeps coming out, I'm going to have to do something about that, it's annoying. Um, yeah, so it's really cool. So what I do is I get my photo etch piece to see those those long bits that you had, and then you just where the bend is. You want the bend. You 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 chuck it in there and you tighten it down. And then they've got these cool little things here. These things, and you've got a long one as well. So these are pretty important. Uh, in the original kit, they're see through and sort of crap 
So Ming have really improved it by making these really good metal ones. Um, yeah, so you get these and they put their name on it, yeah, Ming. You get this and say the part will be sticking out there. So you get this blade, which is really sharp, and you just go thump under there, and then you just push it up like that. And so it bends perfectly where you want it to bend. So if you're doing that with your fingers, it would sort of um, uh, roll. But with this, you go in, you, you push it up, and um, and you get the perfect um, bend. It's really good. I really liked it. And there's no instructions or anything in this. Um, so you've sort of got to work it out yourself. But I'm not sure exactly what the intention of all these things are. I know that they're for bends and stuff. Um, and uh, you'll be able to do all this cool stuff, but I might have to see if there's anything on YouTube and that so I can really get the most out of it. You know, like what were the, the intention? What was the engineer thinking? So what can you do with this? Um, and it's also always good to see what people can do with it and what you can do with it. But already just by not knowing a thing about it and just having a crack, you really, I've already worked out you could do a lot with this. This is really good. These ones are very expensive. This was about 150 Australian dollars for this, where the trumpeter one, you know, the little square one you get, the little trumpeter one, that was like $50. So this is like three times the amount, but oh, I love it. I love it. Like it's been really important for this main kit. So, um, and and these other ones that I'm going to be doing, the Ryfield one and all those mini art ones down there. So I'm really glad I got it. Um, well worth it. I would put away your, your money and get one of these because, yeah, it makes your day really worthwhile. All right, I'm going to get back to making my um, Jag Panther and getting the the filter on to the onto the winter wash. And I'll speak to you again soon.